Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So now we're going to the next letter. The next letter is the letter M. M. M, M, M. And today the letter M is to motivate. Sometimes we need some type of motivations. There's a lot of motivation videos. There's a lot of people who give motivational speeches. But you have to figure out a way to motivate yourself. So let's look at that. How do you motivate yourself? I'm gonna give you an example of one person. David Goggins. If you never heard of him, I've heard of him maybe 10 years ago, maybe a little more from another book. Um, David Goggins, he gave an analogy of the cookie jar, a cookie jar his mother used to have. It's a jar with cookies but not only one type there's a lot of different types of cookies and as kids who doesn't like cookies so there are different varieties of different cookies so then now he finds the cookie and eats it good so he used to do a lot of um probably still does um ultra marathon marathons I mean a lot of ultra ultra marathons and that's like 26.2 miles and above so it's like it be 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 miles, 200 miles per 200 miles races. So anytime that he's in the race, mainly for endurance, he would go into the cookie jar. And what is the cookie jar for him? The cookie jar for him are past, past um, accomplishments, past races. That's pretty deep for me and hopefully for you. So when you're in your race, it doesn't matter what it is that you're doing now and you feel like giving up, you have to dig into that cookie jar. What is the cookie jar? You graduated from high school, you graduated from junior high school, you, 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 did, you got your college degree, you did this certification, you did that, and you could look back in your life. Now, you might say, I don't have anything. I want you to take, this is an assignment for you. I want you to take action. Think of the many things that you have accomplished, all right, that you didn't really like, oh yeah, I did that. No, really, really, really think of the accomplishments. And I want you to think about it and I want you to write it down. And anytime that you're gonna give up or anytime you say, uh, maybe next time, or look at that cookie jar, figure out those things that you have accomplished and get it done. It's a reminder. Here's another one. I was doing, um, and still doing burpees, right? And it's a, it's a new way of, for me to focus on something in the presence. That's number one. Number two, to work on a multi-systems of my body at one time. And it's a free membership for me. I just go up and down and do a push up and stuff like that, no jumping. And so I did a 300, 300 reps straight no no stopping 300 and every 25 reps i put a quarter which is 25 cents so i'll put a quarter another quarter another quarter another quarter and every time i'm doing that 100 that 200 250 um as i put these quarters on the floor as i'm going down to the floor i'm looking at what i accomplish oh man it was great it was great because I saw, man, I did this many. So guess what? I can, if I can do that, I got more to go. And this is something that you have to kind of create on your own, where find out the list of things you have accomplished. I worked here, I've done this. I, I mean, write them down, all the accomplishments from when you're young, from your old, from now. And guess what? That's your cookie jar. You're gonna now take that and put it in reserve. So whenever the time comes, when you feel like giving up, reflect that cookie jar. And I really hope that this helped you. And I want you to have this assignment to write these things down and put it into practice. And the more you put it into practice, you build a discipline and know that when these things happen, this is the, top, this is the common reaction. All right, so I hope this short video will help you in your personal growth and to motivate your own self to motivate i know we like to hear motivational stuff which is great 
but find your own motivation. And your own motivation is the things that you have accomplished. As I said before, when you've been tested in life and overcome it, that becomes a testimony. If you have a mess in your life, you overcome it, that becomes a message into someone's life. Something to think about. Have a good one until the next lesson. All right. Be well, be safe, upgrade who you are, be yourself, love yourself. Take care.